Before watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number 1. Investing is both simple and hard. The basic premise behind successful investing is easily understood. Invest for the long term, be diversified, watch your costs, and let compounding work its magic. But following through can be challenging. Humans are plagued by an inability to just sit there and do nothing. Failing to do nothing leads to costly errors and loss of capital that erode returns. Understanding what is required is very different than being able to perform, regardless of circumstances, for decades on end. Number 2. Behavior is everything. The inability to manage emotions and behavior is the financial undoing of many. To paraphrase William Bernstein, the extent you succeed in finance is based on your ability to suppress your limbic system. If you can't do that, you're going to die poor. Even the greatest stock pickers will underperform if unable to control their emotional impulses. Allowing those emotional hot buttons to get pressed is how people go wrong in investing. There are no shortcuts, secrets or get-rich-quick schemes that work, except for my 3-day workshop where I reveal the secrets of the ultra-rich for the low, low price of $4,995. Number 3. Moderation in all things. Think of the majority of the assets in your portfolio hopefully a diversified, global mix of passive index funds as the basic meat and potatoes of investing. You can add seasonings, herbs, and vegetables to spice it up and add some flavor. Want to do some early stage investing in tech startups? Maybe some real estate speculation? Perhaps a few private equity investments in non-public businesses? Maybe even a fund trading account? Number 4. Investors want better than market returns. Risk is best defined as the probability of your returns differing from your expected outcomes. The problem is that many investors want better than market returns while assuming minimal risk. But returns are a function of the risks assumed. Risk-free US. Treasuries yield almost nothing. To do better, own equities. But that adds volatility to your portfolio. If you seek higher returns, you can add low beta stocks that have the potential to do better or worse than the market as a whole. Number 5. Spend less than you earn. Budgeting is simple. Income goes on this side of your household balance sheet. Expenditures on that side and make sure the latter is lower than the former. It's that easy. I have zero tolerance for the spending scolds who tell you never buy a boat, don't get a new car especially a sports car, and avoid buying ladders. This is lazy, ignorant, and poor advice given by charlatans and frauds who do not understand math or finance. If they did, they would add the magic phrase. If you cannot afford it. Number 6. Leverage kills. Using borrowed money for nearly anything is the negative manifestation of the three prior rules. Yes, get a mortgage to buy a house you can afford, but never use borrowed money to buy speculative assets that are subject to further capital calls. Number 7. Understand your role. The markets are populated by all kinds. There are traders and investors, hedgers and speculators, and everyone has different risk tolerances, time horizons and financial goals. Do not assume what any of America's 800 billionaires have to say about investing is especially relevant for your needs. Their goals are likely different than yours. Number 8. Be aware of your limitations. What gets so many investors into trouble is not what we don't know. It's what we know for sure that just isn't so. 5. Understanding the limitations of your cognitive errors and belief systems is just the start. It's also important to know what inadequacies you have financially, emotionally, and behaviorally. Operating outside of your own capabilities is a good way to run into trouble. Point 6. Number 9. Own it. You are responsible for own financial well-being, not the Federal Reserve, the government, or whichever huckster is yelling the loudest on TV at the moment. You alone accept responsibility for your investments and spending. The sooner you take ownership of your financial circumstances, the better off you will be. Number 10. Invest in yourself. This is the most important investment you can make. Educate yourself, develop an expertise, and add to your professional skill stack and invest in your future by making sure you fully fund your retirement accounts every year. Make those long-term investment needs before spending on short-term wants that's as much of a scold as I can muster. Number 11. Money will solve your money problems. Nothing less, nothing more this is an excellent quote. People who have not experienced having money think it will solve all their problems. It will not. The only problems money can solve are problems that were caused directly by it lack. Other problems are not solved and can in some cases be made worse and more complicated by money. 
Number 12. There are people with money. And there are wealthy people there is a difference between being cashed up and wealthy. You can have money and still be in chaos in other aspects of your life. It is possible to have money and yet be so busy, tired, unwell, or have other problems that it is impossible to enjoy and feeling of prosperity. True wealth implies that you are in control of not only your finances, but your personal affairs, health, relationships, and well-being are in a state of abundance. Number 13. Money is your personal army. It should go out and bring back prisoners metaphorically speaking of course. What this means is that money should be out there working for you, rather than sitting around doing nothing. Number 14. Your rewards in life will always be in proportion to your contribution. Most people are in it purely for what they can get out of it, but this is a strategic error. The wealthy know that if you want more out, you have to put more in. Number 15. Spend less than you are obvious, but universally true. As soon as you start spending more than you are earning, you are getting poorer, and at some point, you will end up broke. Usually sooner than you think. The only way to stay rich is to continue to earn more than you spend. That's all about today guys. If you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.